Hi, do in the UK back again. Just on my run, I'm on a walk. It's a high amount of heart attacks we're getting. Heart attack deaths we're getting. Now, it's really simple. We're all eating way too much sugar. Way too many unhealthy foods, starchy carbs. And because of it, we're all getting ill. We're not really told the correct foods to eat. We're told that things that are good for us to not eat, like animal fats, meats, eggs, cheese, butter, all the stuff that's really good for us, natural animal fats, full of vitamins, nutrients, with healing qualities. Anyway, back to sugar and carbs. So, our body has a mechanism to control the overload of carbs, sugar, in our bodies. Insulin is released from the pancreas. And when you eat something sweet, or some carbs, or pasta, or pizza, or anything the body's there using its mechanism to reduce all the blood sugars to clean your blood vessels cholesterol is helping do this don't believe the hype about cholesterol being the cause of heart disease it's not true just google that and youtube it and you'll soon find out it's not true. Anyway, so eventually what happens is your body's doing its best, using its amazing mechanism to keep your sugar levels at the right level and your carbs to break it all down. Because all these things you're eating, pizzas and starchy potatoes and rice and all the carby type foods are all getting turned into sugar. So your body is overloading with sugar. So your body's happily storing a lot of this foods into your fat. So basically around your whole body. That's why we get a big belly. That's why we get fat all over. Because your body's doing its job and storing all this stuff to stop it damaging you. But eventually you get to a point where there's insulin resistance. So your body is basically saying, do you know what? I can't cope with this anymore. You're eating way too much. You're waking up and you're eating too much of all the bad foods. That includes cereals, by the way. It's all bad for you, full of bad stuff. And your body says, I can't do this anymore. And it just gives up and packs up and says, I'm insulin resistant now and I'm not going to work properly. You're going to start getting ill. Now, when you have insulin resistance, there is a massive knock-on effect of body health problems and throughout the whole body. We're not just talking heart attack. We're also talking cancers, blood clots, gut problems, really serious autoimmune issues. Forget all the basic stuff where it affects our brain fog so we can't think clearly, we can't sleep properly, we've got no energy, we start to get illnesses, just out of nowhere we start to get ill. This is all caused by what you're putting in your mouth and the body can only do so much. You have to help yourself. You have to fix you. And it's pretty easy. You just fix what you're putting in your mouth. So, let's get a bit simpler. 
just stop eating sugar, carbs, or at least massively reduce your carbs. Not too much sweet fruit. A bit of fruit is okay. A bit of vegetables are okay. One of the best things for your body, meat, eggs, fish, butter, animal fats. These things help your body clean. It cleans your blood vessels. It gives you some cholesterol. These heart problems we get because of damage inside our arteries, our blood vessels, our vascular system. The damage is caused by what's going in your mouth. Ultimately, that is the first stage. So you're getting plaque and calcium, trying to repair the linings of your arteries. It causes blood clots that can eventually get to the brain and cause a stroke. So you see where I'm going? There's a very easy fix, like I just said. Stop the sugar, stop the carbs. Start eating the stuff that's good for you. Meat, eggs, fish, natural animal fats. Stop vegetable oils and seed oils and margarines. Stop drinking all the fizzy drinks. Stop eating all the rubbish. Care about yourself, care about your body. And I know I sound a bit bolshy, but you need to hear it. Just do your research. Look it all up. Find out for yourself that I might actually be right. Good luck on your journey.